What up, y'all? How's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Roll the Tape. Um, today, we're going to be talking about uh, one of my favorite directors, and uh, we're going to be talking about his most recent film. It's a little bit older now. Uh, it came out earlier this year in 2023, but uh, we're going to be talking about Bo is Afraid. Um, Bo is Afraid is a very, very complex movie uh, that is definitely not for the faint of heart. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean, if you are anybody who has ever gone through certain types of trauma uh, with family uh, or relationships, um, it is definitely a hard film to digest. Uh, without spoiling the movie, the movie takes you through a very emotional journey and mental journey of what this character is going through in their life. Um, you know, this the this movie talks about a lot of concepts uh, such as like anxiety and depression. So it is a very, very heavy movie and I would highly recommend to be in a good place when you watch this movie because it is very heavy. Um, that being said, the cinematography of this movie is extremely beautiful and it is so surreal that it feels real, but it feels far-fetched, but the realness of it is the emotions and the mental state that the character is in. So uh, the cinematography does a beautiful job of kind of like separating that for us. Um, which I think is is really great and especially compared to a lot of Ari Aster's other films that are a little bit more realistic and surreal. Um, this film definitely separates that in terms of how we can place ideas in our brain. So um, I think the film does a great job of that plus the coloring is so beautiful of it. It's very very bright and vivid um but then it also plays a lot with darkness and shadows so uh it's it's a really really cool type of uh journey that the cinematography takes you through uh with a bunch of different types of styles in a way um but still sticking to the surreal style um yeah this film is a three hour long movie so i would definitely recommend to set time aside uh, to watch this movie and be in a good mental place to watch this movie but I think that if you do set the time aside you know and you're not too sleepy and you have uh, the attention span for it uh, it is a phenomenal movie and it's a beautiful movie um, I watched it in the movie theaters when it came out but then I also recently watched it again this last week uh, with my with my family at my cousin's house um, but the first time I watched it around in the movie theaters like I was like hooked from beginning to end and i could not take my eyes off of the screen and even though it was a three-hour movie the first time i watched it around it didn't feel like three hours it felt really quick and it felt very um heavy so i think that's one of the reasons why it felt so quick because my own mental state was just kind of like blowing up all over the place so uh yeah another thing is the acting is really really phenomenal in this film uh the acting by joaquin phoenix is beautiful but then also all of the supporting actors really add to this surreal nature of this film uh when i recently watched it i talked to my brother about it and i told him this movie made me feel like i was watching the music video for like black hole sun uh if you've ever seen that music video it's very like bright and vivid but also really trippy and very I don't know, surreal again i know i'm using that word a lot but it, it, that's kind of like what the vibe is uh and it has this like depressing but kind of like happy because of the bright color uh type of vibes so that's what this move that's what this movie made me feel like it made me feel like i was on a uh i was on a trip you know it made me feel like i was on a i forgot the term but there's a term that people be using um when it's like i don't know just kind of like madness everywhere um so yeah 
There's a lot of things that people can attach to in this film, a lot of different topics that it covers. Uh, so I feel like in different ways, you'll be able to relate to different parts of this movie. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I would highly recommend to go and uh, give this movie a watch. Um, definitely, like I said, be in a good mental space when you watch it. Set aside the time uh, so that you can enjoy the film throughout its full in full length. Um, but uh, I personally really enjoyed the film and uh, it definitely made me think a lot. It made me feel a lot uh, and it's, it's good, but it's heavy. So uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching. Love y'all. Please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. It would really mean the world to me. Um, and we're making our way towards our goals. So thank you all for watching. Love y'all and uh, have a good night. Peace.